It's spring and there is always something new going on in Gatlinburg. Marcy Claude is here to tell us all about it. So glad to have you in here. Well, thank you. Glad it, to be back. It is a fun thing to think about now, making that short trip. It is a short trip, just an easy few hours down to Gatlinburg. And, you know, today is the, what, second day of spring, and it doesn't quite feel like it today, but we had that little glimpse yesterday. But down in the Smokies, things are budding out. And oh, I, just, I bet it's beautiful. Oh, it is. I just took a hike in the mountains a couple of weekends ago, and the spring beauties are already blooming. It's a great time of the year, isn't it? Yes, it yeah. is. And spring break. I mean, we have, of course, the beauty of the mountains, the wonder, wonder of Gatlinburg, and then just special events all lined up just all the way through the end of April. So you will not be bored no. if you take this trip. No, I mean, you can strategically plan your trip <laughs> and really find some fun things to do. And we're taking a look at some of the attractions, and there are many, just depending on what you want to do, how adventurous you want to be. But do you have some other fun things for people to, uh, to try out and, and see and do, right? Well, absolutely. So, of course, family memories are made in Gatlinburg, so for, whether you're hiking or you're visiting attractions. Anakista is open. If you haven't tried it yet, it's a new attraction, about a year old, and they continue to add things to. Uh, the Gatlinburg Sky Bridge is new to Gatlinburg. The Gatlinburg Sky Lift, it's an expansion of that, 680 feet long. It's you mean like the old sky lift that was always there? It's now yes. longer. Yes. Now, well, well, now the sky lift, the the sky lift is brand new, and it goes up to a restaurant. And they have a sky bridge, oh. and it's the longest in the United States. It's like Grandfather Mountain, gotcha. if you've ever, you know, that yeah. kind of thing. So we're excited about that. And then Old Red has just opened too, that Blake Shelton inspired restaurant. So we have some music and nightlife too. You have a lot of new things for yes, folks to do. do. If people want to check out all those offerings before they go down there, so that they won't miss something, what right. do they do? So go to Gatlinburg.com, mm -hmm. and you can. And check out things to do. Um, we also have special events. We have Art Fest, um, excuse me, Wine Fest, and Hands on Gatlinburg coming up on the weekend of April 12th, 13th, and 14th. Loads of fun. You can buy tickets right there. Look at class selections. No experience required. Here's a few examples of yeah, things some hands-on on. experience. If you want, right? <laughs> no, right? In fact, didn't you do this? Even hands-on right on wine. But I did. I made the mug. <laughs> <laughs> mug. Pouring wine here. into the mug, right? Yes. And so it's painting classes, pottery classes, jewelry making, basket making classes, um, bird painting, and then oh, this little bird print. Yes. That's so sweet. Isn't it sweet? And so it's all the same uh, weekend as Wine Fest. And so come down with your girls or come down with the family and just have a great time making memories, uh, creating something with your hands, one of a kind, in our great Smoky Arts and Crafts community. It's, it's a ball. And as you said, making memories. That's very right. important. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, we appreciate Gatlinburg it. Gatlinburg.com for more info. Mm -hmm.